hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again so um, today i'm going to show you how i develop a software that will be able to capture um, 10 fingerprint so if you check my channel you will discover that um, some of the biometric software i've been developing is just for one thumb just one fingerprint so i've been able to put together a software that will be able to capture your 10 fingerprint all right so if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel i would uh, like you to do that so click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell all right so let's get started i have already logged in so i just want to quickly show you how this works all right so i haven't captured any fingerprint yet so i'm just going to place my hand on the scanner just for you to know that it's working so i'm gonna place my hand on the scanner real quick all right so as you can see there is a question mark on um indicating that uh, no fingerprint were found on the database for this design i have used visual studio 2017 professional and of course i've used um scl server as a database all right so i'm going to close this and uh, i'm going to log out and uh, i'm going to reload the application from the ide so that you see how this works all right so these are the design interface and of course the um, coding all right so visual basic is what i've used to um, design the software all right i've done several fingerprints um software on c -shop. so i've decided to do this on visual basic all right so i'm gonna click on start debug So for the login um, details, I'm going to enter admin for the username and also admin for the password. All right, just for um, a demo um, purpose. All right, for the admin, we have the admin dashboard right there. We have the register. We have the enrollment, the verification. Um, and of course the admin where in case you want to add another admin user or staff all right so the admin has um, privileges okay to register um, a user or a staff and also enroll um, fingerprints of that particular person and also the admin has done the privileges um, to verify the person also all right so i have already registered okay so i'm not going to do that right now i'm just going to close this and uh, i'm just going to go straight to the register menu all right for um for the user image all right normally i used to um upload the image right from my computer but for this i have um, been able to integrate um, the webcam okay i've integrated the webcam and uh, for the webcam i have used open cv and of course emgu cv if you're very good in uh, algorithms you should know what that means all right so i'm going to capture my image for this user um i'll click on start webcam so just gonna click um make sure your internal webcam is working if it's not working you can use your um, external webcam or your cctv camera whichever one open cv would work very well for it okay so i'm gonna click on capture all 
Okay, so I've captured my image. I'm just gonna fill this form real quick. So my name is Cletus Ibe, and uh, email address. I'm gonna fill this. So for the date of birth, um, since I'm using a demo account, so I'm just going to um, select a random date of birth, okay, just for demo purpose. So for the address, I'm um, in Calabar, so I'm just going to use any address right there. So I'm just going to use this, all right, Calabar, Nigeria. So for my gender, I'm going to use male. All right, so once you have filling everything, okay, for the ID, I've used um, cryptography to automatically generate the ID, all right? So I've made the text box to be read only so that uh, someone will be able to edit the text box all right so it is automatically generated uh, on page load okay so i'll fill in the form and i've captured my image i'm just going to click on submit all right so the record has been submitted successfully and uh, we have a notification um, message box right there i'm just gonna click on save all right so i have captured my details so i'm just going to go ahead and enroll my fingerprint all right for the fingerprint i have made it in a way that uh, you can capture your 10 fingerprint but when you want to do the verification you just need to use any of those 10 captured fingerprints all right so either the tongue the index finger or any of the fingers that has been captured during a moment would work for the verification all right for so for the name i have been able to use name suggestion so once you type in the first letter of your name um what happens is that uh, the, um, the the software would automatically look into the database tables and bring out suggestions of existing records all right so i'm going to as you can see there's a suggestion so i'm just going to click on it and once you click on the click event you um, it automatically selects the id okay and display it right there so i'm just going to click on start enrollment all right so we have the 10 fingerprints you need to click on the finger that you want to enroll all right so make sure your scanner is blocked on your system and each of the fingers would require um, that you um, scan it four times that's four samples for each of the fingers all right so the fingerprint templates are safe as binary objects on the database tables so you don't need to worry about that all right so i'm just going to start enrollment just start with my index finger all right so i'm just going to do this real quick without wasting much of your time um the first finger has been captured i'm going to click on the second finger as it out so guys why i'm scanning my fingers if you haven't subscribed to a youtube channel and you're watching this video i would like you to do that just click on the subscribe button and uh, also click on the notification bell all right so that once we upload um source codes like this um, 
to my account quickly get one all right so i'm just going to scan the last finger for the first hand so i'm going to scan or capture my left hand finger just do that real quick all right so so any finger that you want to capture just make sure you click um, click on it all right so once a particular finger is being captured what happens is that the system automatically saves the records the uh, fingerprint template So just the last finger for the left hand is remaining. I'm just going to capture it real quick. Alright, so the enrollment was successful. As you can see, all 10 fingerprints or fingers were captured. Alright, for this particular user. Alright, that's myself. I'm Cletus and with my unique ID right there. Alright so all the fingers has been captured and the um, the quality of the fingerprints are are good all right are the 10 fingers so i'm just going to close this from right here okay all right so i'm going to close the um fingerprint enrollment form all right so the admin can verify users all right but i'm going to show you how the normal user dashboard works all right so this is the admin dashboard i'm just going to log out and uh, once you log out the um the login form would appear and the main form will um will be closed so i'm just going to use the username for the user is user as a username user as a password all right so I've created this for demo purpose. You can decide to create what you want. All right. So this is the normal user. I'm just going to click on location. Okay. So what I've done is just to teach you or show you guys how to um, capture, register a user, capture the users. Um, 10 fingerprints and also verify the user using any of the fingerprints all right so you don't need to enter any of the the user's name or phone number or email address all right so what he or she needs to do is to place any of the fingers on the scanner all right so once one of the fingers has been placed on the scanner all right um the system would capture the fingerprint template and then match it with, with the existing template um that is on the database all right so if match is found um the system um, um query the record select the a particular um, user um, record and display it on each of the text box controls and of course the picture box all right so i'm going to place one of the hands one of the fingers that i've been able to capture it, just to show you how this works okay so i'm going to place one of the fingers okay so guys it works just the way we expected it to okay so this is my record on the the my image the image that i captured using the webcam okay so guys everything is working real good before now i've been developing software for just you know one finger um print enrollment and verification so i have been able to put together um 10 fingerprint enrollment and uh, 
verification and of course identification all right guys um subscribe for this channel okay so that you'll get more videos i'm going to track it a little bit in my next um video of course i'm going to add the attendance okay um where student or employees would be able to capture attendance and once they do that the attendance for that day of course the time in and the time out would be recorded for that particular user and of course the data can be printed or it can be exported as a cs uh csv file or, or an excel file okay you can import it and uh, get a backup of your data okay so guys i'm just gonna close this and uh, if you like the video um just click on the like button give us a thumbs up and of course subscribe to our youtube channel if you need a source code you can you know contact me i'm going to drop my um, phone number on the description and of course my whatsapp the same phone number is my whatsapp phone number and of course uh, business email address okay so get it on the description and uh, thanks for watching and goodbye